Hi everyone. In this video, let us discuss about the interaction between methotrexate and probenzate. What is methotrexate? Methotrexate is one of the antifolate agent which inhibits the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme, thereby it inhibits the conversion of the folic acid into tetrahydrofolic acid. And this drug can be used in the different clinical conditions. Mainly it is used as an anti-metabolite in the treatment of cancer. So methotrexate is one of the anti-cancer agent. And apart from the treatment of cancer, this methotrexate can also be used for other inflammatory conditions. For example, it can be used in the treatment of psoriasis as well as the rheumatoid arthritis and in the treatment of Crohn's disease which produces inflammatory bowel disorder. In all these conditions, methotrexate can be used. On the other hand, probenzate is one of the uricosuric acid. That means this drug increases the uric acid excretion. That's why this drug can be used in the treatment of gout. Gout is an inflammatory condition produced by elevated levels of uric acid. So in the gouty arthritis, probenzate can decrease the uric acid levels by increasing the uric acid excretion. In this way, these two drugs are having the different clinical uses. But what is the interaction between this methotrexate and probenzate? Methotrexate used for the different clinical settings compared with the probenzate and they are acting by different mechanisms. Then how these two drugs can interact? and which type of drug interaction may be possible between these drugs. Even methotrexate is not used for the treatment of gout, but in the gouty arthritis, methotrexate can show its beneficial effects. The first thing, it can decrease the inflammatory response, and second thing, it can decrease the uric acid levels to a smaller extent. In this way, methotrexate can also affect the uric acid levels at a minor level, but the interaction between these two drugs are not related to the actions of the methotrexate, and the interaction is purely related with the action of the probenzate. But it is not a pharmacodynamic interaction, it is a pharmacokinetic interaction where the probenzate is going to interact with the excretion of the methotrexate. So first of all, let us see the structure. So this is the structure of the methotrexate, which is having the three important moieties, steridine moiety, paraaminobenzoic acid moiety and glutamate moiety. So methotrexate is one of an antifolate, which is having the structural similarity to the folic acid. And when we see the structure of the probenzate, probenzate is a sulfonamide again having a carboxylic acid attached to the phenyl ring. Now these two drugs are not structurally similar, but we can observe a similar group in these two structures. Methotrexate is having the carboxylic acid and here it's having the two carboxylic acid groups. And again the probenzate is having the carboxylic acid. That means the methotrexate and probenzate are the organic acids. Now this point is sufficient to describe the interaction between the methotrexate and probenzate. Now these two drugs are going to interact by pharmacokinetic interaction. So now let us see the pharmacokinetic interaction between the methotrexate and probenzate. So at the proximal convoluted tubule, what are the membrane inside of the tubular lumen is called as apical membrane and outside is called as basolateral membrane. Now this basolateral membrane is connected with the systemic circulation and here the uric acid which is present in the urinary filtrate can be reabsorbed into the systemic circulation through one of the transporter urat this is the urate transporter this urate transporter is responsible for the absorption of the uric acid now the uric acid can enter into this renal tubule then it can be entered into the systemic circulation in this way uric acid is going to be absorbed into the systemic circulation through this urate transporter and here this probenzate is one of the drug which is going to block this urate transporter such that the uric acid is not absorbed and it is going to be excreted in the urine. That's why probenzate is called as uricosuric agent which increases the excretion of the uric acid. But at the PCT if you have the organic acids are also secreted into the lumen and one of the organic acid is the uric acid. So uric acid and so many other organic acids are secreted into the lumen and for this purpose, one of the transporters is present. This is the OAT1, organic acid transporter 1. Now this OAT1 is a exchange pump where the organic acids are exchanged for the dicarboxylates. Now the organic acids like the uric acid are going to be 
entering into the renal tubule where the dicarboxylate is going to be reabsorbed into the systemic circulation. In this way, the organic acids can enter into the renal tubules from which they are going to be secreted into the lumen. Again here the propensity is going to inhibit this OAT1, organic acid transporter 1, thereby it inhibits the secretion of the organic acids. So here the propensity is going to inhibit the uric acid absorption as well as secretion. But its therapeutic action is mainly due to the inhibition of the uric acid absorption which results in the increased uric acid excretion. And what are the action of the propensity on the secretion is not only observed on the uric acid, it is observed on the all types of organic acids. So along with the other organic acids, uric acid is also not secreted in presence of probenzid. Now here, the methotrexate shows some interaction with the probenzid. Methotrexate is one of the organic acid. What we have seen within the structure of methotrexate, two carboxylic acid moieties are present and it is a glutamate derivative. So it is an organic acid. That's why it can be secreted into the lumen by OAT1, organic acid transporter 1. Now this methotrexate molecule can be exchanged for the dicarboxylate anion. So methotrexate molecule is going to enter into the tubular membrane where the dicarboxylate ion is going to be exchanged. In this way methotrexate can be secreted into the lumen then it is going to be excreted within the urine. But in presence of probenzid, probenzid can inhibit this OAT1 transporter so that the methotrexate is not secreted into the lumen. Now in presence of probenzid, methotrexate is not secreted which results in the accumulation of the methotrexate levels within the blood leading to methotrexate toxicity. So probenzid shows a pharmacokinetic interaction by inhibiting the tubular secretion of the methotrexate. What are the symptoms? Now we have seen that probenzid can increase the methotrexate toxicity and this is more important because methotrexate is given at a high dose in the treatment of cancer. So when these methotrexate levels are excessively increased, it results in few of the toxic symptoms. Initially, we can observe the diarrhea, vomiting, diaphoresis, and tubular toxicity because methotrexate can cause a tubular damage. And this tubular toxicity can produce a renal dysfunction. And methotrexate, when accumulated, it can affect the functions of the folic acid. It can produce a megaloblastic anemia, which can impair the nucleic acid synthesis. Along with the tubular toxicity and renal dysfunction, if they are untreated it may lead to the death of the patient. So that's why whenever the probenzid is given along with the methotrexate the dose of the methotrexate should be adjusted such that we can prevent the toxicity of the methotrexate. So that's about the interaction between the probenzid and methotrexate. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.